Checking the runtime of a Helltech Alora V3 board running Meshtastic powered by a 4000 milliamp hour lithium battery. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, we've got here on these Helltech V3 LoRa boards running Meshtastic. There's the antenna there, it's 868 megs. It's connected to this uh, lithium battery here. It came out of an old Energizer power bank that met a bit of an untimely end a few years ago. But the battery survived, which is good. There's a protection circuit on the battery just there. It's a DWO on a dual MOSFET package on that board. The clips across it are for monitoring the voltage on the multimeter here. 4.21 volts, so in my opinion, that's as good as charged. So I'm disconnecting it from the charger... Now, so it's now disconnected from the charger, and now we're going to see how long that runs for. The voltage has slightly dropped to 4.15, but that's actually fine. 4.16, 4.15, it's more or less close to full charge. And I'm going to leave this to run. I'm going to do a time check now. In fact, I'm going to do a time check on camera so you can actually see what the time is. If I bring my phone in, it's 10.40 and the date is the 29th of January, Monday, the 29th of January. So my plan with this is to box this all up in a weatherproof enclosure. I'm not sure how weatherproof this antenna is, but I'll soon find out. And put it outside on the window ledge and have a solar panel connected to it to charge the battery during the day. Which, as long as the battery's close to full, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. And during the night, the battery will then take over running the device. So the runtime is to find out whether it can be used for that purpose. So here goes nothing. Okay, so let's see where we are with this now. It's now 20 past 3, according to the clock on the camera. And be careful with this, I don't cause anything to go wrong. Uh, the battery's still showing all three of its little bars. The display's a little bit shimmery on camera because I think that's just down to the way it works. Um, I've got to try and do this without poking things, I shouldn't try that one. There we go. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it says the battery's are 79% for volts. And that's uh, after not quite five hours of runtime, just 20 minutes shy of that. So I can just bring my phone in just to do the time check. And I'll bring it in there, uh, 20 past three, which is about five hours. Now I've spent all day doing my self-assessment tax return. Good. Don't want to do that again, but I'm going to have to do it again next year. Lovely. And that's what I've been doing while this has been just discharging slowly. So if it's dropped from full to ish to where it is now, in with about four volts from about 4.1, 4.2 ish in the space of five hours, then that should be okay. Could be better, but that should be okay to use with a solar panel charging it during the day and obviously running on the battery during the night. Might be a bit of a struggle during the winter months, but during the summer it shouldn't be too much of a problem. So we'll catch this again. The problem will be in the morning. Okay, so I'm back home now and it's uh, 25 past 8. I've been out working a little while and... The device battery is now down to about 68%. Yeah, it looks like 68%. So there's the battery there. Not been touched. The only thing I've done is press the button on the device to wake the screen up. So the last check was about 3 o'clock, I believe. So we're looking at about 5 hours since I last checked. Yep, about 5 hours sounds about right. And we'll just confirm the time by bringing my phone into shots. 2023. Yep. 
Let's pick this up in the morning then, I think. Okay, so here we are at 7.17am the next morning. And I'll bring the clock to confirm that. And the Meshtastic device is at 45, 46%. And that's not too bad. So I'm going to get myself ready for work and I'm going to go out to work and we're going to see where it is when I come back. I have a feeling it will probably run out by then. Okay, so as predicted, the battery has run out after I've come back from work. I actually came back from work about 20 minutes ago. And it's now 8.57 on whatever today's date is. You know what, I've forgotten. It is, oh, I have a nosy, if I can get my camera to cooperate, 30th of January. So it's 8.57 on the 30th of January, and that's when I find the device is, the battery is reporting 0% at 3.26 volts, which is so stuck in this boot loop, but it isn't anything to do with the DWO1 MOSFET package there, because I'm pretty sure that that thing is set to switch off at a slightly lower voltage than that. I can't remember the actual specs of the DWO1. So I'm going to plug that back into charge now. The charger isn't plugged in. In fact, it's disconnected at both ends. So I was going to plug this into charge. I'm just going to pause the camera whilst I do that. Okay. So I've plugged the charger into the device at that end. And hopefully when I plug it into this end, it's a bit of luck, normal service, the charger will plug in, will be resumed. There we go. It's still in its boot loop. So I might be able to get it out of that. Try that. Okay, it's stuck in his boot loop at the moment. I'm not 100% sure why. Just pause whilst I find out what's going on there. Okay, so I managed to get it out of the boot loop and it's now plugged into charge. I just pressed both buttons at the same time and that seemed to cure it. I don't actually know what I did, but that, apart from press both buttons at the same time. So that's now on charge and I'll bring the multimeter in. And that's showing 3.45 volts going to the battery. And it's already showing two bars on the on the battery indicator, but it's not actually showing the device is charging. Some slight quirk with it. It doesn't do that until it gets to the top end. But it's uh, now on charge, and I think that was a success. So about, I'd say... I'll have to look at the footage, actually. So I'll have a look at the footage and find out how long it lasted. Okay, so having had a look at the footage, it looks like that battery will run the Meshtastic for about a day. So that's not so bad. Which is perfectly fine. 24 hours. So it'll always be charged up at some point. And there'll always be some charge in the in the in the cell, hopefully. It's currently just reaching the end of its charge because it only indicates actual, actual charging when it's close to the top. I don't know why it does that on this particular device. I think other devices it will indicate that the device is charging throughout, but this one, for whatever reason, it's just indicating close to the top, close to the 4.2 volts. So it's showing the little lightning bolt indicator on the display there. I'm just trying to press the button, if it will let me do that. And it says that it is charging. So all it leaves me to do is now disconnect everything. So I'll just pause the camera while I do that. And that's now everything disconnected. I've got uh, 
the meter across the battery I'll bring that in the meter saying it's at 4.13 so it hasn't completely charged it but it's charged it sufficiently so that's now the antennas disconnected the boards disconnected the battery's not connected to the device because it's not needed at the moment now I'll put that to one side because obviously I've got my holiday to America coming up and I won't be able to do much more with the mesh-tastic stuff until after that when I get other devices and an enclosure for for this device to put it in so I can put it outside and a solar panel to run it because that's my plan. Anyway, 7-3 for now. I'll catch you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll try and get some stuff filmed while I'm in America because that's something I'm planning on doing, hopefully, or being well. Because as you know, I did bravely modify my Yesu FD2D. There's something else I'm going to bravely do as well, which will be filmed on a different video. So, I'm actually waiting in at the moment, because my car is um, at the garage getting its wheel bearings sorted out, because I think they're knackered. Anyway, 7-3 for now, and I'll catch you in the next one.